Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I'm making a handmade card from start to finish. I'm using a white card base, nine and a half by six and a quarter. I'll be scoring that in half. And here's my first mat that'll cover the front of my card. This is cut to six and a quarter by four and three quarters, which is gonna be my card size. And my second mat is five and three quarters by four and a quarter. And I also have a piece of chipboard that's going to go behind that mat. So that's also five and three quarters by four and a quarter. I'm using a heart layer that's three and a half inches by three inches. And these beautiful open roses in both pink mist and white from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'll be sure to link those down in the description box below. And then I'm using several layers of this label that I printed out. I'm erasing my pencil markings and I'm going to score my card base in half. I will be using my scoreboard to make sure that I get a good crease. And I'm using smooth white cardstock, so I don't tend to have any cracking, but I still like to score it just to, to make sure. So I'm going to fold that over and give it a good crease with my bone folder. Now my first mat, which will cover the entire front of my card, that's a pattern paper by Adrian Lumen, her bubblegum collection. Really pretty pink polka dot. And this second mat, this is the mat that I'm going to put the chipboard behind it. I'm using an embossing folder, a chevron embossing folder, and I'm opening that up to tab two, or tab one rather, sandwiching it in between my two cutting plates and running that through. And this will give me a nice embossed piece. I love that. So I'm going to be using some Fabri-Tac and adhering that chipboard piece down. I love to add dimension to any cards that I will be hand delivering. I do send some through the mail as well, usually in a, a bubble envelope if I send them but I like to add a lot of dimension to cards that are being given with a gift in person. So I'm going to adhere that down to the front of my card. And the two hearts that I'm layering, I made one a little bit larger, the three and a half inch one, just so when I'm done a little bit of that pink, which is the coordinating paper to that polka dot paper, in the end result it'll peek out just slightly and here this is from the same pattern paper I had typed on there so grateful for you and printed that out and now I'm just adding a piece of cardstock behind it again to give it dimension and I'm adding that to another layer of a white piece that is going to sit right in it so it shows just a little bit of the white and now finally I'm adding it onto another of the same pink color of that heart. So it has a white lit mat and then this pink mat that all coordinates. I love using Fabri-Tac. It, it adheres pretty quickly, but it also gives you a chance to move it around if you need to make an adjustment. So I'm pulling out a nonstick craft mat. I got this from the Dollar Tree and I love it. I've been using it for everything and I plan on using my hot glue gun. So I want to went ahead and pulled that out. And now I'm simply going to be adhering both the pink mist and the white open roses. Again, these are the 10 millimeters. So they're the tiny ones and I'm just going to alternate them pink to white, pink to white and fill in that entire white part of the heart. Again, leaving a little bit of the pink to show as my border. This only took me a minute to do. I will fast forward it here quickly so you don't have to sit and watch me adhere all these on, but that only took me just a minute, a few minutes to complete it. It was very quick. I'll be sure to link Wild Orchid Crafts information down in the description box. Like I mentioned, I hope you stop by their website. They always have new products and sales going and 
If you follow me at all, you know how much I love Wild Orchid Crafts. I add them to every project I make practically. I think they just make everything a little bit prettier. So here's my completed heart. I'm going to take my heat gun to it and I don't want to melt that nonstick craft mat so I lifted it off there and it just kind of gets rid of any hot glue strings that are hanging around. They just kind of dissipate when you run it over there. I was really happy with how that turned out. So here's this tiny little bow that I have and I cut that out from the same white cardstock. I'm going to glue that down. It was the perfect size to add to this little heart. And I'm sorry I'm a little off screen. I'm just wrapping around the bottom bow portion of it using my hot glue. And again, using my Fabri-Tac, I will adhere my heart piece down. And now my label. I love the texture that that embossing folder gives to my card. So I'm pulling out some embellishments from Wild Orchid Crafts and I'm looking at these flowers trying to decide what I wanted for the center of my little bow. And I pulled out these little flower embellishments and I knew right away that was perfect for the center of it. I hope in the final pictures you can see how pretty that is in there. I love using those on projects. So I just adhered that down with my hot glue and I will again do that to adhere it to the flowers. And I added some of these small filigree corners to both the top left and bottom right using some glossy accents. And to finish it off, I'm going to add some of the self-adhesive pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'm adding three of them to the center of the flowers. Even though they are self-adhesive, I'm going to use some glossy accents. And I was having a hard time picking them up, so I pulled out my pick-me-up stick from Silhouette. And that's just helping me hold on to them so I can kind of tuck them throughout. I also go ahead and add three of them to my card as well. This entire card came together probably in about 45 minutes, so it was very quick. And I did want to finish it off with an inside piece that I can write my sentiment on. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's project. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and check the description box for the links to Wild Orchid Crafts. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.